Hello everyone, it's me, Anne from Anne Makes. Thanks for stopping by. Today I have another Dollar Store haul to share with you. That's right, a Dollar Tree haul. This one I did just a couple days ago, uh, but by the time this video comes up, it's gonna probably be a week later. I don't know. So, if you like these kinds of videos and you like to see uh, haul videos where most of the stuff is for crafting purposes, and if you like to see craft videos and DIYs and stuff like that, then you may want to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button below on the end makes in the corner of the screen. And don't forget to click on the bell from YouTube so YouTube will notify you whenever I post new videos. So, here are the things I bought at Dollar Tree. This is a repurchase. Uh, these are little black towels, hand towels. I buy these for my guys to keep in their bathroom and it's proven to be very uh, good <laughs> to have black towels for them. So I bought some more. Okay, uh, next I have some socks and I bought several pairs of the same type of socks because I want to give these to my friends this weekend so we could all have matching socks. So it was important for me to find a style that I could have five different pairs because I just wanted to give everybody a little something. So I got socks for my girlfriends and they're fuzzy and they have grippy things so we won't slip on the floor. So I just thought it'd be really cute if we all had matching socks and hopefully we'll remember to take a picture. Okay, so the other thing I picked up, this store had these two bags of trim. That's it. I did, I, I don't know, I'm, I was late to that store, I guess, and this is all they have left, or they just started to put them out. But anyway, I have these two bags of trim. I love finding these at Dollar Tree. You get 50 pieces, a yard each, so 50 yards, $1.25 for different looking types of trims. And it looks like they're the same in both bags. Yep, looks like I got the same stuff. So, but that's all there was at my store. This called this the value pack. And I did find some other trims at another store another day and I bought what they had there too. So I don't know how many colors there are in total, but I'm very happy whenever I find any because it's good value. Okay, so some new, new, new craft items at Dollar Tree. They had just put these out on the hooks and I wanted to get them they have these pretty crafter square stickers they're metallic and i love this style it's for like a kitchen bakery this will be really cute on a like cooking type of scrapbook page any type of card or you know but i i love the uh the designs on here and if, i don't know if you've noticed you can see but right here right right here there's a chicken so I thought that is so cute because I've always had chickens decorating in my kitchens. So <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. That's so me. Okay. So some other things. I saw these at Creativation. And I was like, huh? I never saw these in my store. And it didn't, there wasn't a sign that says new release or anything. So they're here. They're at Dollar Tree. So forever in time, die cut embellishments. Man, these are so much fun to find. They are so, so well priced. $1.25 for 29 pieces of these really nice quality die cuts. And this one, is there a name for it? Yeah, Tropicana. Tropicana, check these out. Love the colors, love the toucan, OMG. Very, very pretty. So I got this one. The other one, I saw this at Creativation and I was like, oh please, I hope they show up soon in, in our store. And they are. So forever in time, more die cut embellishments. Again, 29 pieces, these are feathers. And they have some glitter. They're so, so pretty. So these are all the feathers that are in that pack. I hope you can see that. 
And yeah, so I did get a couple of those because I really, really like that one a lot. They have this one with the insects. Again, 29 pieces. And what I like about all the packaging that they do for Multicraft is they always give like an idea of how to use the products. They, here they have like a, a card layout and I think that's really, that's fun to see that. So here we have some insects and there's a lot of foil on them, lots of gold details. Check out this dragonfly, isn't it gorgeous? So yeah, you're gonna say, well, those are bugs and yeah, but you know, there's pretty dragonflies and butterflies. So I like that. Another set of die cuts are the flowers. So, and again, another sample of what you can make with this. Uh, and this one has like a rose gold foiling touch to it. And this is what's inside the package. Look at, you have the pussy willow here. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. So, oh. Such a great and expensive way to collect die cuts for our crafting. So those are all the new die cuts that were at my store and I'm very happy to have found them. Some new items at my store were the Crafter's Square Jewels and Gems. Uh, they have these little green hearts. There's 55 in this bag. And there's some other type, and I don't know where it is right now. It's probably in the other bag. Okay. I also saw these sentiment stickers, and the other day at another Dollar Tree, I picked up the black ones. And these are all, all for birthdays. So birthday wishes, happy birthday, etc. And the colors are pretty. Pastel colors, which I find is... You know, we make a lot of, when we make birthday cards, we tend to make these happy, make them with happy colors. So this is perfect. You have 14 sentiments on here for your money. It's very good value. I saw these toothpicks, wooden picks. Uh, this was where they have the dishware, uh, the kitchen dishware and things like that. And I, what it, attracted me was the shininess and I just like I have no idea how I will use this in a craft or if I will actually use these with food maybe I'll just use these with food next Christmas or for some event I'm not sure can make some tiny little candy kebabs or fruit kebabs or something I don't know or so I I bought two of each so if I want to use them for food, I will have them. And if I want to use them in my craft somehow, uh, I will have them too. So just dual purpose. <laughs> uh, oh, I picked up some of this tape. Uh, this is a style that I had missed at my stores. So I, this is the only one I bought because I did not have this one. So I got the watermelon washi tape. I think it's really cute. And I didn't buy any others, really. I bought two like that and that's it. There were some bottles left of the clear gel tacky glue. So I decided to buy a few more to put in my stash. And then I saw the little tubes of fabric paint and I have no idea about the quality of them or anything, uh, but I thought for the price, uh, it's worth a try. And if I don't like them, well, you know, they were only a dollar. It's not too bad, and if I don't like using them on fabric, I could just use them on whatever surface. So you get 26.5 milliliters or 0 0.9 fluid ounces. So you don't even get you don't get a full ounce in here of this fabric paint. And it says it's by BU Color. I'm not familiar with that 
brand. Hashtag be you. So, yeah, that's what it is. And these are the colors that were at my store. There was this yellow, uh, black, white, the pink. I love the pink. This blue, this lavender, purple, and this teal color, which is really, a, it's a really pretty teal color. So this is what they had uh, at the store. They had a lot. I just bought this. Uh, I did buy two of the pink because uh, I already have a lot of fabric paints. I have lots of paints, period, but I just bought these really because I wanted to check them out. So got that. Uh, oh, this is a, pa a package of mints. There's five rolls in here. It's a good deal. It's $1.25. I'm just making some gift bags for um, a weekend get-together with my friends, and I will be including these in their bags. I also got this for my gift bags this weekend, uh, day in, day out. These are glass nail files. And I have a glass nail file, and I've had it for a very long time. I find that it's very good. It's very durable. Uh, I, I like having it, so I just thought if I could pick some up for my friends, uh, they might appreciate them too. And then I stocked up on all this nail stuff, even though I always say it. I'm not much into makeup and blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm trying to help my nails. As you can, if you can see, the, well, this, this has grown. I, had, I tried a nail dip uh, when I was in Phoenix. I went to a salon and had, I got a manicure and I got them dipped. And I really, really, really like how they came out. Uh, this color has been on for like two weeks. This is what's left. But I had a little accident and I broke off two nails badly uh, on this hand and this hand. So that's why I, my hands look a little weird. But I really like this. And I, my, these nails, uh, are they're getting much better, but they were really thinned out and not in good shape. So when I saw these at um, Dollar Tree, I thought, oh, I should get these. This might help me with my situation. And I just bought one of each because I thought, well, these are practical. So I got the Diamond, this is Diamond Cosmetics Quick Dry. Dries polish to a high gloss. So I got that. This one is the, this is LA Color and this is Base Coat Top Coat dries to a high gloss finish, primes and protects nails. And this is Rapid Dry Top Coat. Uh, and this is LA Color. So I have a feeling it's probably the same thing. It might be the same thing, but they're two different brands. Anyway, uh, again, LA Colors. This one is Ultra Nail Hardener. Promotes healthy nail growth. and something I could use, especially on these broken nails. And this one, Miracle Nail uh, Nail Hardener. So it looks like I just got two brands of the same thing in, the, in a lot of them. So that, and then LA Colors. Oh, Mega Growth. Vitamins A and E for maximum growth helps protect problem nails. So this I, is probably going to be helpful. Hopefully this will be helpful for my situation here. And yeah, so I wanted to get this and I'm not even sure which one I'll start with. <laughs> so uh, they have these new lunch storage towers. The brand is Sure Fresh. And what they are, they're this like long tube, but they're in three parts. So you untwist it and there's a little container in the top part here. So you can put like salad dressing or dip in here and you can place one one snack like you know here they show like your carrots and celery stick and in the other one you can put like another healthy snack like nuts or whatever so i thought this was this was fun um and it would be great for on the go 
or for preparing uh, snacks in advance and putting that storing them in the refrigerator I like that they don't take too much room so and I also like that this would be practical to bring in my car and put like in the cup holder if it fits and yeah so I got I actually got two of these I got this one that's kind of a tealish green and I did get a pink one also so in the second bag, I picked up a few more baskets. I've been using a lot of these for sorting and for projects, and so I find them very practical. This size, I did not get the last time, so I got one. And finally, I got the skinny size as well uh, of this basket. Uh, the more baskets I have, the more uses I find for them, it seems. So it's just it's just crazy, I know, but uh, I, I use these a lot. And I use a ton of them in this room especially, but I do have baskets for stuff all over my house. And it just helps to corral things and just keep keeps things tidy. Another thing I am very guilty of buying collecting are little bags and pouches. So I limited myself to a certain color so I wouldn't buy one of each because there were so many pouches available. So I got this one that is kind of like a velvety pouch and it, they say it's a cosmetic bag. But of course I got it because of this nice pink color. And then I got this one because of the hot pink color. But they have other colors. And I didn't get the other colors. I just got these. I limit, I'm limiting myself to my favorite colors. So I got those. And then they also, this style, this style also um, comes in different colors. This cosmetic bag and then it looks like um, a paint swirl or paint pour type of thing. And it's, it's more of a, it's a vinyl one. It feels like a, a fake leather it's very soft and I did see other colors like I saw teal and I think uh, green it's just very pretty colors but I just got the pink and then this pouch too I couldn't resist I had to get all these pouches because they're so pretty and I just grabbed the pink ones uh, this one is a smaller pouch is like satiny color and it's got these I want to say gold but they're more like brown colored polka dots it's very pretty so all these little pouches I use a lot of pouches to store things within things I use them a lot when I travel I have a lot of pouches in this room so they're just I find multiple ways to use these and then when I walked into the store they had these these are brand new also I am a mermaid unicorn fairy princess Okay, this one made me laugh. I love the design of the, you know, like the tie-dye paint pouring look here. And of course, because of the color, mostly pink, it's blue. It's a, like a turquoise color at the back, but uh, I just thought it was very funny. So I got this one. And then the other style that there was, and because it has mostly pink, I got it too, is this one. So this one has hearts on it. Uh, I guess more for Valentine's so I have a lot of pouches and I already have so many pouches I didn't need more but uh, I like them I got this card uh, for Valentine's Day it says to my husband so it's a nice card it has a nice saying in it And the Easter crafting, because they have these Happy Easter craft kits. They have these yarn craft kits, and you can, it says you can make two. So two of these, like, pom-pom bunnies. So that, it just looked really cute. So there was a white style and a pink style. So of course I got that. And there was also, I think, chicks, but I didn't get the chicks. I just got the bunnies. And there's also this craft that I thought was really sweet looking. Felt craft kit to make six little lambs. And I just thought they were so sweet. So I got that. Um, another Easter craft kit is this one. It's a kit to make the little bunnies. They also had the kit to make the little chicks. But this, I just got the little bunnies. 
And oh, here are the other gems that I was telling you that are new at my store and I got. So each bag has 55 pieces. There's these like hot pink stars, these pink oval gems, and these bright blue uh, round gems. I saw this feather type of trinket plate and I thought it was really pretty. I had to get one. I, I'm thinking that this will be a great little plate to hold my quill pens when I do calligraphy or anything like that. I don't do that very often, but I just thought that this would be a perfect place to rest my pen. And because it is uh, like a ceramic, uh, it'll, you know, the inks will wash off quite well. So uh, yeah, I got this for that and it's very pretty. In the floral garden stuff, my store finally got the bags of small faux moss stones, something that took a while to get to my store. And there's a ten, there's 10 in here. So I picked some of these up. This is a new item as well. They call the Reed Diffuser Fresh Cut Rose. And I want to check this out to see if I like the scent because I do love the scent of roses. Uh, I'm not into lavender. There's so many scents I don't like, but roses I do. So uh, I thought I would try this out. It might smell nice in here. And here's the other container I got for um, keeping snacks, healthy snacks. So this one is pink. Oh, this is leftover. I'll I don't know where, oh, I had to put the flowers away. I can't show you all the flowers I bought. Um, the reason I had to put them away is because Snowball was eating them and then she became very sick because of course, you know, she couldn't digest the plastic. I know, that's my cat. So yes, I bought a whole bunch of fake flowers. <laughs> Oh, now check these out. They have the cutest little donut pens. And I had to get these uh, to give to some friends because OMG, they're, I just thought they're so cute. So, and they're very squishy. They're fun to squish. <laughs> oh, they these cute donut pens. OMG, so I had to get these. And they also had this fluffy pom-pom pen and these bright colors. So I got that one as well. And I do use all these funny pens, by the way. I don't just buy them. I do use them because I use a lot of pens. Now, this is not new, but I thought I should pick it up. They have these Tempera paints by Prang. Tempera paint is basically a, a watercolor. It's a thicker watercolor intended for children. It's probably not light fast, but I thought of one for crafting or when I'm I'm designing or planning projects. Uh, I don't like to use my most expensive products for that, but so I thought this is a really nice a color that I could use with white and pink and play for skin tones or for flower bases, so um, for the bases of flowers. So that's why I got it, because it's such good value. I get so much paint in here. And like I said, I would not use this kind of paint to have my final work uh, for that. I wouldn't sell final work with, you know, inexpensive product like that, that is not light fast. But for my, my own planning and pre-design purposes, uh, yeah, I try to use inexpensive things. So I got this pink one as well. Because I, the, when I work, uh, when I design projects, I do use a lot of these colors in my projects. So I just like to stock up on uh, supplies for that. I told you about my nails at the beginning and then I saw this nail polish and it looks so close to what I to my nails here that I thought I could use this on my broken nails while I grow out. <laughs> so it would sort of match because I tried this color and this color is too brownish for this pink. 
So I just thought I would give this a try for my other nails uh, while they heal before I go and dip these ones as well. So I, yeah, that's why I got this nail polish. There were some new lipsticks. This is by Viva Color. They had this nude lipstick. I just wanted to check it out, so I got it. And this one is the shimmer lipstick in this like pinky color. So I thought I might like that. So I have a lot of lipsticks now. It's crazy. I got a package of St. Patrick's uh, gold coins. Not really sure what I'll do with these, but I thought for a St. Patrick's Day decoration or craft, I would have them. I got a package of these placards. Uh, this is for, uh, you know, these are from my husband, so I got these, and you get four count in them, and they're mint blast. So that, and I saw some eyeshadows, and I didn't know if I already had them. Um, these are the color is T for two and pink pal, and I might. These are colors I might wear for the few times I wear eyeshadow. Um, so I'll I'll give these a try. And that is that for my Dollar Tree haul. So there's a little bit of everything, as you can see. A little bit of paint, a little bit of craft stuff, a little bit, you know, there's just a little bit of everything. So I hope you uh, liked this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.